Tired of long-term commitment plans? Then Appalachian Wireless has a new plans for you. No credit checks, no contracts, and most of the features are postpaid. It's forward pay, the simpler way to do wireless on the region's premier cellular provider. And it starts as low as $19.99 a month with unlimited talk and text. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. On April 28th through the 30th, the Appalachian Center for the Arts will be performing the complete works of Shakespeare abridged. This show will contain every play and sonnet ever written by Shakespeare, but condensed into an hour and a half long show. Various forms of comedy and storytelling can be expected from the hardworking actors involved. The show is the complete amalgamation of all of Shakespeare's works, all of his sonnets, all productions into one 97 minute piece. Now, uh, uh, people can, what people can expect, um, it's funny, it's fast paced, it's witty, uh, and there's, a, there's a bit of improv in there um, and a lot of crowd interaction. Um, it's something that is fun for the whole family and uh, a, a welcome change of pace for somebody who might be used to just dry Shakespeare. You know what I mean? The show will contain a total of three actors despite Shakespeare writing over 1,100 characters. For more information about the show and ticket availability, visit theapparts.org. People expect this long-winded, long speeches, big dramatic moments and uh, you know, even though that's not all of Shakespeare that is in some of them, uh, but for us, yeah, we're, we've got 97 minutes and we're going to do all of the Shakespeare shows. We're going to do all the sonnets. It's, a, it's quite a feat. There's only three parts in this production. There's only three people playing all the roles. I think there's like um, over 1,100 roles total of what Shakespeare has going on, but we're, we're, we just got three people passing the hat. And we have John Code, who is uh, who works for us here at the app? We have Malcolm Gabriel Johnson, who also works for us, and then we have um, the technical director at the Mountain Art Center. His name's Robert Daniels. Just come out; we'll save a seat for you. Reporting for Mountain Top News, I'm Nick Collum.